The sun is shining in London, y'all. What a day to be alive. Is that you, Lily? Yeah. Come on, girl. Give me something. Give me something. Good morning. My name is Anise and welcome to my new channel. If the accent isn't a dead giveaway, I'm an American living in London. Listen, we have plenty of time to get acquainted over the next, I don't know how long this is gonna last, but I hope it lasts a long time. So for now, we need to get moving because I definitely have breakfast scheduled with Mariah this morning. So let's go. We already spoke enough. We can't keep Mariah waiting because she don't like to be waiting. <laughs> So I'm on my way to the Soho house on the Strand. Mariah is actually a friend that I met here at an acting class in London. She's also American, and before you give me grief about being an American who moves abroad and only makes friends with other American people, I just want to clarify that Mariah is my first American friend abroad, and I didn't meet her until like three and a half or four years into me living in London. Look at this, y'all. London ain't that much different from New York. Everything stays under construction. Just took a short ride from Waterloo Station, and Guys, I'm new to vlogging. Honestly, half the time my camera has a mind of its own and I have no idea what it's doing, so just bear with me. Why is it so zoomed in? On the Strand, lovely day in London. Off to 180 to meet my girl. Oh, look at the cute little London buses. Damn, this vlogging thing is making me fall in love again with London. It's so beautiful around here. Okay, I need to pay attention to where I'm going before I just like walk into a bus. Five years later and I'm still sometimes not remembering which way to look. Okay, we gonna run, we gonna do it New York style. Hi, I'm just meeting my friend here. Hello. Girl, I'm a, I'm a vlogging bitch now. We vlogging up in this bitch. I would turn the camera around, but I don't know how to do it yet. Are you okay? <laughs> she loves me, guys. I promise. She yeah. loves me. She loves me. <laughs> like most industries in any major city, the acting community in London is pretty small. And it turned out that Mariah knew my friend Carly from a different acting class, and Carly knew some girls that we had crossed paths with before. So we made the morning just one big girls get together and... Honestly, it was a fabulous time. And we are back from what was a very, very, very lovely brunch with Mariah and Carly. And now I'm happy to say two new actress friends. And we have a special delivery coming later. Our Christmas tree. I love December. Sag season, baby. Sag season. All the way. Hey. After four sublets in four years, this was my very first Christmas tree in my own place, and I was just feeling really grateful. First real Christmas tree, too. Gen Y girl, one time for the Gen Y girl, one time for the millennial girl, hey, one time for millennial girl. <laughs> Listen, I still got it. I might not be 100% with these little TikTok dabs and dances and stuff, but I still got it, so.
After a delicious birthday lunch at the Ivy, we decided to stroll around Canary Wharf before heading to our next destination. Birthday behavior. <laughs> Don't make fun of me because I'm a vlogger now. <laughs> I, love you. I love you too. And then there's Barclays. <laughs> oh, London. Damn, look at that girl. You know she's tall. She takes a few pictures. She ain't got no clothes on. You know she's tall. <laughs> recording me? I'm trying to focus. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. As we're walking past, make sure you pan, pan that way a little bit so you show the girl that I'm talking about. Okay? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Definitely missed it. Give me the camera. <laughs> <laughs> so the time was inching closer to our Hakkasan reservation and they wanted to leave a different way from how we came. But I wasn't convinced. No, let's just go where we you know. I'm but not trying I to get that, lost. That's gonna be like fine. I'm not trying to get lost I mean, unless you want to look at a map. But then what if we go down and there's love that takes us all the way to Elizabeth Line? Why can't Okay, fine. Fine, let's take it all the way down. White man trying to get me lost in the jungle, y'all. I don't know if you're taking me. Where are you, where are you taking me? <laughs> Lizzie Line, here we come. Heading to the west side of London. Where we got a hack sound reservation do 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 That's Elizabeth line Luckily, your girl didn't get lost in the jungle and we were able to catch the Elizabeth line west Then, as we were exiting Tottenham Court Road Station Oh, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god Oh my god Oh Jesus after a bit of a struggle, the man got back on his feet, but that sparked a debate with Bay on who's more helpful, New Yorkers or Londoners. New York people are so helpful. They are helpful. New Yorkers help each other. New Yorkers would have been there in a half a millisecond right away to help that man who fell. Just step over and like one for their choice. <sighs> Don't go back up. Okay, so I don't want to say I do Hakkasan every year for my birthday. I did do it last year and here we are again. But I mean, these tastes are just so hard to beat. For some reason when I looked at the menu and I looked at the set menu, I was like, oh, it's going to be like, oh, it's just a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Those are full this is like meals. Real meal. Yeah. And like, no shame. If you want to take stuff home, no shame in our doggy bag game. You know what I mean? How is that one? This is super nice. Though the party didn't end there, because the following night, I had tickets to go see Coco Jones at, you'll never guess, 
the Coco Theater in Camden. Their team knows what they're doing. <laughs> Unsurprisingly, she slayed. She came out looking like perfection. She had the whole crowd singing, I see you. Those vocals were top tier. That mic was on. And let me find out Coco Jones had all these moves up her sleeve. I didn't know she could break it down like that. She said, get on my caliper. Making my way into the station, about to meet the boys. Apparently they have a birthday surprise for me. Um, I think we're going to dinner first, and then I don't know where they're taking me. There they are, just getting their way oh, over. Oh my goodness, the always the diva. If I have to be in a vlog, this isn't gonna do a fucking stop. Who said you are gonna be on my vlog? I mean, oh. have you seen this? Oh my god. Okay, Listen, who's guys, like. It's Giorgio's world. We're just all living in it. And at last, the moment arrived for the surprise. Guys and dolls at the Bridge Theater. Giorgio and Mark got a standing tickets, which was a great idea because the show's designed to be immersive. And I have to say, we were all up in the mix. I'd never seen the incomparable Marisha Wallace perform before, and she was phenomenal as Adelaide. Overall, the show was just good vibes, so much fun, and it was a great way to end my birthday celebrations. So much love to these boys. So Bay is always making fun of me because when I walk out the house in my bathrobe and nightgown, he's like, that's the most New York-ish ever. What's the point of living somewhere if you can't walk around your own community in your nightgown and bathrobe? I need to go to the store, I got things to do. This Bailey's keep is going up in price by the minute. It was 10 pounds three days ago. Now it's 13 pounds, damn. So we got dressed, and as we have our own holiday party coming up at the beginning of a string of a lot of holiday parties this season, we are on our way to shop two to get a bunch of little part snacks to make our event amazing. <laughs> and during the holiday time, but I will say London does it pretty damn well. I will say with New York City, New York tends to do specific central areas quite nice, but I feel like with London, the Christmas cheer spreads out a bit more from just the center. And I can appreciate that a lot about London. You know, New York City has Rockefeller Plaza, but you know, we're not in Soho right now, but they still do want to something, something. Honestly, can't go wrong with Marks and Spencer's food. I think of all the stores, Sainsbury's, Waitrose, Marks and Spencer's, Morrison's, Marks and Spencer's is not paid. I'm going straight for That's what we need. Obviously, prioritizing the important stuff. Now it's dark, but success. We got our food, and now we just need to get the party cracking. Where am I going? The holiday party went off without a hitch. It was a great turnout and 
Lily stayed calm. She was in a little dog-friendly carrier pouch attached to me all night. Mariah and I decided to serenade everybody with Christmas hits, even though no one asked, but, you know, as one does at a holiday party. Tis the season. Oh, my God. Sorry. This is like two of them. I love it. Denise, you know I'm bisexual. Don't fucking do ah! <laughs> Okay, closing all the doors so Lily doesn't have a party and drink all these cocktails and mocktails all over our bed. <laughs> I love you. Be a good girl, okay? Stay. Be a good girl. Mama will be right back and we'll have so much fun. All black, all black and everything, but we comfortable. We got the sweatsuit, track pants on. Okay, so Black Books and Busy is this group of black actresses in London that I am a part of. It's all about community, tribe. So we go to their annual holiday party tonight. Let's go. Honestly, I know myself, and sometimes when I have like events and stuff, uh, I just get so comfortable at home and I just don't want to go. So what I will do to kind of make sure I don't fall into this bullshit of like not going to things that I probably should go to is I will tell a friend and be like, hey girl, let's go. Because if there's one pet peeve I have, it is flakiness. I can't stand when people are flaky and when they say they're gonna do something and they don't do it. And I'm not trying to be that person. So luckily for tonight's event, a few weeks ago, I told Carly, I was like, hey, Carly, girl, let's go to this event. Let's make it happen. And you know what? She texted me today, like, are we still going? And like, I was laying in bed with my scarf on and really wanted to be like, I'm not trying to go nowhere. But I told my friend I was going. So now here I am. So basically, my plan worked. There she is. Hi, I don't have to explain the energy that was in this room. For a day that started with me not really wanting to get out of bed, these women just set me on such a high. And to think that a little over five years ago, I moved here to London not knowing anyone, and here I am all these years later with friends, family, community. It was a really meaningful night for me. Okay, and then I put my camera down because I told all these women that I was starting this whole vlogging thing now and I was like, just ignore the camera. Oop, she didn't see the camera there. But you know, act natural. I just want to get a little bit of footage from this event. But put a camera in a room full of actresses and if I could get a dollar for it, every time an actress spots the camera in less than a millisecond. On the other side of London, we have finally arrived to holiday party. I don't know what number. A holiday dinner party, actually, with some friends that we have made abroad who also live in London. The table setting is stunning.
shelter while on holiday in southern Italy, where they have a family-run agritourism business. They're both fantastic cooks, and Bay and I had the privilege of enjoying their culinary expertise last summer at the beachfront restaurant that they run on the Ionian coast. There's a little photo of me there. It's such a cute place. May has a shop where she sells beautiful loungewear and home goods and is also super knowledgeable about Southern Italian ceramics. Walter produces these exquisite Southern Italian wines, some of which we even enjoyed the reserves of at this dinner. That's the nice thing about living in Europe. It's so easy to travel around and meet people. It's just the icing on the cake when they also live in London. It is Christmas Eve. We are running late, so once again, I cannot be too slow. But we are headed to Essex to spend Christmas with some friends of ours. So we know this lovely couple. It's an American guy and a British woman. And we're going to be going to Essex to spend Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, and Boxing Day with her family at her mom's house, which is like so nice. Um, and. I got this, okay, so it's gonna be me, Bay, um, the couple friends, her mother, I think her cousin, maybe an aunt, her brother, her brother's friend, maybe some other people. So there's like a whole bunch of people that are gonna be there who I don't necessarily know, but obviously I'm not trying to show up empty handed on Christmas day. We wanna be generous, we wanna make sure everybody has a little something something to get. So I don't know if you can see this. Let me actually turn the camera around. So actually what I decided on was to get a hamper from Fortnum and Mason. One of these kind of quintessential hampers that like make up, I don't know, British folklore, I don't know. Okay, it was a little hard to unbuckle with just one hand, but I just unbuckled it just to show what we have inside. So it's like lots of really yummy Fortnum and Mason edible goods. What does that say? Ooh, truffles, salted caramel cookies or biscuits as the Brits say. And then underneath is a whole nother level. I'm not sure if you can see, but wine. I think what I will try to do is place it inside a bag that's big enough and just throw some tissue paper on top and then call it a day. Honestly, I did try to think about a lot of different things for Christmas, but I didn't necessarily think this far ahead in terms of the wrapping for this. I thought I was gonna be able to wrap it in wrapping paper, but obviously we need to leave in like 10 minutes and guess what, the wrapping paper is finished. So, we gonna use a Wilco bag. Just try and dress it up and hope for the best. Okay, not too bad, but you know what? It is the thought that counts. Over the hills and through the woods, Essex, we go. So we arrived and we stayed at the Woolpack Inn, which is primarily a pub, but you'll find especially in the British countryside, pubs will have like three or four small rooms above the business for out-of-towners. Quick fit check and we're off. Guys, this town was so cute. When Saskia and Brett invited us for Christmas in Essex, I was expecting major reality show, the only way is Essex type energy. But this couldn't have been further from that. All the cottages were dressed up in lights. Me and Lily really had to level up our Christmas game, so I put her in a green jumper to match my outfit. <laughs> Christmas carols in the street. 
And so we followed the music until we finally tracked down our friends. The hostess with the mostest. She's in a very pissed. Is it because you're British? Is that no, why? I guess I'm drunk. <laughs> no, the American fish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The British fish. I know, fish. I'm delayed. I'm not pissed yet. That's why I was a little bit confused. How do I say this? Focus Hall? Cog is this place. This place called Cog. Cog is 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 And in case I wasn't already feeling enough like Cameron Diaz in the holiday, there was an amazing Christmas Eve meal prepared for us back at the family's house. Brett and Saskia's legend of a daughter left out goodies not only for Father Christmas, but also for his trusty reindeer, gotta remember the carrots. And then Saskia and I chatted about what it was like growing up in Kogashal, which apparently is one of the most haunted towns in all of the UK. She showed me her uncle no, her great, 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 great uncle Francis or other who sits on the wall and who used to share wall space with another distant relative, Henrietta, but... She kept jumping off the wall. Is so this house haunted too? No, it was the <laughs> old house. <laughs> okay. But I don't know if she's just pissed and she doesn't want to be on the wall, but like, whatever, Henrietta. Cool it. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> no! <laughs> Honestly, Christmas was a blast. I mean, how can you not have fun when you spend it with loved ones and little ones who just make the whole day so magical? Oh wow! Oh we always have a lot of laughs when we're with Brett and Saskia. There's an audience, so you have to pretend you like it. Oh. I learned that hot sauce comes in more flavors than I ever thought possible. The butthole. Oh! <laughs> And we all helped Saskia practice to become the neighborhood Try flasher, since her brand new trench coat provided her with the necessary equipment. <laughs> watch, wanna watch? I remember when I used to watch British holiday films, and I never understood why at the Christmas meal, they would all wear these funny hats. I still don't understand it, but I'm in that movie now, so. Merry Christmas, cuz. Have a very typical British tradition. As you can see, the British cracker crown doesn't fit on my big dreadlocked head, so I've got to just pop it on top. Okay. 
Now we're gonna find out a lot about it. That's not that hard to do every Sunday. Do you know what I mean? Alright, just a bit over 50%. Right, 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 Hi, darling. Good morning. Happy Boxing Day. It's the day after Christmas, and you gotta get up. No, you don't really, actually. And just like that, it was time to go home. I got ready in five seconds. We said goodbye to the Wolfpack Inn and cute little haunted coca shawl. Finally, to make our way back to Cite. London town. Really? What is happening? Y2K bug hit 2024. After what had been a pretty eventful holiday season, we decided to keep it chill on New Year's Eve, stay in, drink some Christmas mulled wine, and make some tasty, tasty chicken wangs. Thanks so much guys for joining in my first vlog. If you've made it this far, you're the real VIP. And I know that means you already hit the subscribe button. Goodbye 2023, hello 2024. See you guys in the new year.